times squared minus 6 equals 0. All right, this is a great candidate for the square root property, not because we just talked about it, but because we can rewrite the equation to be a perfect square equal to number. But what can I do to both sides to get it in the form of something squared equals number? By adding 6 to both sides. Yep. Oh my gosh. I forgot to change the thickness. All right. So to solve for x, I'm going to have to take the square root of both sides. But when I take a square root of an equation, I have to include a plus or minus. Done. If 6 were negative, then you would have to simplify it with imaginary number. If 6 were like the number 8, then you'd have to write it as 2 radical q. So all of your rules from chapter 9 still apply. And you might still have to sim uh, simplify your radicals. Mm -hmm. if, if your radicand contains a perfect square or is negative. We're routine the whole thing. Not without spraying. Bye. How do we isolate the square term? Add one and then what? Divide by three. Mm-hmm. All right. Take the square root of both sides, include a plus or minus. Are we done? Correct answer. We are not done. Can you have a fraction on a theoretical? No, it's like making a peanut butter jelly sandwich and putting the jelly on first. You don't do that. You put the peanut butter on first. Everyone knows this. So we have to break this up. And we have to rationalize. Otherwise, you get the jelly crusties on your bread. You don't want that. What am I going to multiply to top and bottom by to rationalize the denominator? Square root of 3. What's my final answer for x? Over. Over 3. Mm -hmm. Square root of 3 times 1. You would try part C. All right. Let's see how you did. All right. We're going to isolate the squared term. We're going to divide. I'm sorry. We're going to subtract six. Divide by four. I'm going to take a square root of both sides. Don't figure your plus or minus. Now this one cleans up. What is the square root of one fourth? One half. So if you wanted to check, you'll put one half in for x. One half squared is one fourth times four is one. One plus six is seven. And also, if you put a negative one half, you get the same answer. 